what's up good people aka winners that's what we do hey that's all we do hey 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 i'm coming to you with another video hey coming to you with another video vicky vicky hey 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 <laughs> that's the remix anyway i'm coming to you guys with another video um per the use you know and guess what it's a foundation video like I love foundation videos, I love concealer videos and whatnot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you join the fam bam or make sure you join the winner fam bam here on YouTube, all right? By subscribing and clicking the notification bell and adjusting the notifications so that you don't miss a beat. Cause you don't want FOMO, right? FOMO is like fear of missing out. I don't want you to miss out. I want you to stay connected to the family, all right? I know you already saw the title, so it already totally gave it away, gave you like a spoiler alert, all that good stuff. So it is Clinique Even Better Makeup, okay? So what I was saying, random fact, back in, I don't even know how many years ago it was, cause I've been on YouTube for like, what, seven years now? Um, so, or seven years this, oh, girl, I think it made seven years this month. Wow, hashtag winning, hashtag score. Clinique used to be my hands down favorite foundation. It was the, um, I don't even remember which one it was. You guys know I have my little um, foundation collection back here, but it was old already and it was almost gone anyway. So I tossed it, but I don't even remember the name of it, but it came in a tube and my color was, I think, Spice Golden. Then I tried another one that came in a glass bottle. I will link the videos where I did the reviews on them because I totally did reviews on them here as well. And um, it was like, it was my judge and Clinique, me and Clinique was just, we was rocking like, whoa. You you know what I mean? That, that was my whoa. <laughs> and, um, and then I just started trying all these different foundations and loving all these different foundations and bam, like I haven't been really trying it. And what had happened was they came out with some beyond perfecting or something like that. And they had the nerve to take out my shade. That was shade. Okay. Cause you took away my shade. I'm just saying. And so now, like I went to the mailbox recently and they sent me this whole kit. It is called Shade Master, or I'm just kidding, Shade Match Science. And this is what she is looking like, okay? And so it came with a foundation right here. And I think that they did pretty good, but we are gonna find out on today. Not today, but today. T-U-H dash D-A-Y today we're gonna find out and it came with some lipsticks as well and it came with somewhat of a color wheel and this is what it looks like if you guys know about the whole color wheel situation it looks like a color wheel and it says what is clinique shade match science we can now determine your most flattering combination of foundation and lip shades. Secret to these perfect shades? Question mark. An algorithm built on the golden ratio, a harmonious proportion that underlies the most beautiful works of art in nature. I'm a beautiful work of art girl. All right, so I am, it's, um, what is it? Oh, so if you wanna do glam lipstick, you got your glam. If you wanna do casual, you got your casual. If you wanna do naked, you got your naked. And then it is all lined up with your, hold on, right here, it's all lined up with your foundation shade. Now, like I gotta share something with y'all. So like I'm gonna open this up. And so when I opened the foundation, okay, or not opened it, but when I looked at it, cause I have not opened this at all. I'm doing it with you guys for the first time. Um, and so, yeah, mm -hmm. this, you and me must never part, Maki Nada. Like we're family here, we're, we're doing this thing. Um, and I didn't wanna do it without you. So this is what the foundation looks like. And it looks like we have a match, girl. I'm really praying that this is all right. Cause sometimes when it looks like a little bit lighter than me. It's just that. So we're gonna see how Clinique did y'all. We're gonna see if I have to, um, oh gosh, if I have to call in reinforcement, I don't know. It says WN100 Deep Honey. And low key, when I saw WN, I was like, win! <laughs> Cause I'm a winner, right? And so I just totally thought that. But let's swatch it. I'm nervous, like legit. I haven't put on primer or anything. So that's a good thing. It's looking something kind of light. I had a feeling. I'm still gonna layer it on and then y'all know, y'all know I don't have a problem fixing stuff in front of y'all. We're just gonna fix it and see how that goes. Like, dang. Now, before we try this out, I am gonna prime because that's how we get down. And I am gonna tell you a little bit about the foundation. I did not know that this foundation existed, but um, 
Yeah. Oh, so the similar products when I'm on Sephora, it says the similar products would be Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the Pro Filter Matte, and then it also says the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation are something that's like similar. It is a dermatologist developed foundation that helps perfect the appearance of skin with every wear. It's medium coverage, it has a natural finish, and it is a cream formulation. So we're just gonna try it and put it on maybe one side of my face. Let me see if I blend it out. Ooh, ooh, child. No, 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 no. I'm gonna keep on with this video because I, I like to tell y'all how to make things work. So we're just gonna turn this video into when you find a foundation and it's not your exact match, how to fix that joker. We're gonna do that, okay? But I will, you know, spread it a little bit after I put on my primer. Um, so let's go into the, at least look at the lipsticks, right? So this is supposed to be the glam shade. And this one is called Cuddle, aw. This is Cuddle. That's supposed to be if I wanna get glammed up. Now, mind you, this is for a lighter shade person. This is for the person that fits this shade right here. Now, to be honest, it does kinda go with my neck. It doesn't really match my face, but it does kinda go with my neck. So I'm thinking that I will try this foundation and I will bronze or contour or however you want, well bronze cause I do, it is more like a bronzer. So I will bronze around my face if I still have the bronzer that really bronzes. Y'all, you know we keep it real here. I'm gonna get my sculpting palettes from Black Radiance and this should help us fix it. It is the, um, I have the dark deep here, I have the medium dark and I have the light to medium. Okay, now you can find these at the drugstore. I have a video all on these palettes already. And then now we're gonna go to the next shade which is considered casual. Oh, tender, tender love, tender love, love so tender, holding me close to you. Baby, no, baby I surrender. Something like that. <clears throat> I wasn't ready, it's okay. That's tender, right there. You got the glam, you got the casual, you got the naked. This one is considered naked for the shade 100, which I am not, I don't think. Us gonna figure it out on today, all right? So this is, oh, oh, this is naked. Hmm, naked for who? I was not expecting to go this direction, but this can possibly work for us. So first we're gonna go on with this IT Cosmetics primer, cause I love the way it feels on my face but I'm also gonna use some reinforcement around the nose. This is IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer. I did do a um, first impression, no, not a first impression, I did a review on this primer. I love this primer, but it does nothing for your pores, but I love her. And I am gonna use a corrector, but what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna take you through the whole process because you guys have seen me do this many times before. But I will let you know that this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Corrector. This is probably my third one. We're gonna try this. This is the WIN 100, just kidding, WN 100. And I'm assuming that a WN is for warm neutral. Um, but you know what they say assuming does, so let's just back up off that assuming. And that's what I am thinking. That's what it usually means, okay? Dear Father God of heaven, I'ma still, I'ma rock with it. I'ma rock with it. I am not a quitter, so we're gonna see. Got me looking like a ghost. I don't know. Now, some people may go this route, but I feel like I need to at least let you guys see how this looks applied all over. And it'll probably let me know if I want to get the, the right shade, even though it matches my neck. You see that? The only thing with matching my neck to the exact T is um, like that, that full yellowness, sometimes in pictures. That's why I do like a little bit of um, warmth to it. Cause sometimes in pictures, that flash, it just makes me look really light. Like you see what I'm saying? You see how it's, it's kind of, even though it's, it's kind of matching my neck, it's like, where's the warmth to it, you know? But they didn't do bad as a, you know what I mean? As like not having me come in and match me. I don't think that's horrible, but I'm definitely gonna need a little bit of warmth. But you see, I could make it work, but that, I just feel like to me, that's not my comfortable place. You know what I mean? Like, you know how you have this comfortable place of where you rock or how you rock foundation? That's not my comfortable space. It's, it's almost making me look kind of pale if I could even look pale, you know? 
but it's not, it's not horrible. Some of y'all may like your foundation like this. I need a little bit of warmth, but what I am going to do is I'm going to try to just bronze my way through it. I'm going to try to stick with this for the sake of this video girl, but try to stick with it, but I got to put on some more. And you could tell if it was full coverage, it will be totally opaque and you would not be able to see my hand through here. But because you can see my hand through here as I'm blending, it is, it, it is definitely medium. It's not, it doesn't have the opacity that like a full coverage foundation has. Now, as you build it up, sit it there, let it sit for a minute, build up. You may get that, but I'm only going to go on with the layer that I put here for one, cause it's missing a little bit of warmth and I don't want to like assist the ash any further. I am gonna go with a concealer that is a little bit more on the warmer side cause I don't wanna over lighten myself, girl. So this is number 11. Like the foundation is light enough. I I'm not gonna do that. This is Juvia's Place Concealer. I think it's called I Am Magic. You know what I need guys? I need like a full fledged studio where my setup stays exactly the same and I never have to adjust it be in agreement with me. Let's go. And this is another trick that you guys can use the way I'm going to warm this foundation up. You'll be able to use that for some of you guys that maybe have like a, um, a winter foundation that is like way too bright. Like as summer gets to come around, you can use your winter foundation and just kind of darken it up. I think I'm going to use this from the dark deep palette from, um, black radiance. And they have a really dark contour that is almost like dirt for my skin. That will be a little. And when I say dirt, I'm not talking about the shade of it. I'm talking about how cool it is. It doesn't really have a whole lot of warmth. It, it kind of, this one is a little warmer than this one is. So if I put this on my skin, it's going to make it look like I just have dirt on my face. So that's what I mean by the shade. Okay. Now this, so I'm going to go into this one, which is the sculpt one. This one is, um, I, I don't usually go this hard contouring, but baby, Told you we got to make this work. So I'm putting a little bit here too. This is more of a, um, a harsh contour for me, but I need to bring this color back. Now I'm not going to put any on here, but I am going to take that same brush and just kind of come around the forehead. You see? So I'm bringing, like I'm going to dab it, knock some off and do it again. This foundation looks really good after all my little work that I did. Now, let me put on a little bit of a blush real quick. I'm using this Jaclyn Hill palette and it is a shade out of there that I've really been loving. And I've been going a little bit harder with my blush lately. This is, I think the shade Hunts. This is the shade Hunts in there. It's an eyeshadow, but I like it for a blush a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I made it work. Do, do y'all understand? Um, I am like ah, an artiste. Since we have the dark palette from Black Radiance, let's go on and go into their highlighter. I don't think I've ever really used this on myself. I will use a medium to dark, but baby, we are using it on today. Hey Clinique, I take it back. You did not do too shabby. Although I still would want to go a little bit warmer, but for winter, I could totally do her. Just got to do, put in a little bit more work. Just got to go a little more to work on my wrist feet with this one. I got things to do today. So we're going to set it. The reason I'm not so much setting it for the simple fact of making sure that it lasts all day. The reason that I actually like to set my makeup is because it allows the powder and the foundation and everything to mesh together and it looks more natural. So that's one of the reasons I set it and then so it can stay in place, but I don't go ham. Some people drench their face. I don't do all that. I just do just uh, enough and we're going we're going we're going to do that thing to them edges. We're going to go from the lightest to the darkest cuz I want you to see how it looks on. Real creamy. Okay. Now, if I wanted to go over with the foundation and mute out my lips, that probably would be okay. With some, ooh, you know, I, Clinique, you know your stuff, okay? If I put a gloss on this, this is probably cool. That is probably good. It probably, I might, did you hear? I sound like Daphne Duck. But it probably will work out. I'm gonna use ColourPop's Neat Freak. It does have a little gold in it though. Come here, come hither too, come through. That's really pretty. Now this should be my naked cause it doesn't look like I put anything on. That is a uh, tender. Mm-hmm. This is the glam one and this is cuddle. 
This is not what I consider glam because I like deep lipstick, you know? That's your corporate America type lippy. When you want to glam it up and not go too deep, I think that's the corporate America lippy. I think we did it. Mm, we did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray. Hey. Because it is already 3.42 p.m. and I will probably get home around 10 or 11. So I may cut the camera back on real quick and let you guys see um, what it's looking like. Just, you know, how it's lasting and stuff like that for six hours or so. I may do that, but don't hold me to it, okay? I know I said that I probably wouldn't come back, but then when I got home, I was like, you know what? Finish him! <laughs> Let me tell you one thing I noticed about this foundation as I'm looking in my monitor over there. Is it not accentuating the lines in my forehead? And the crazy thing is, I don't even have lines in my forehead like that. Like I've never really noticed that before. Wow. And I have not blotted. I have not done a dog on thing, but I am gonna blot right to now. All right, we're gonna do it now. And all I do is blot with paper towels. And um, we're not getting up close and personal because I just didn't check my other camera. So it's all to the good because I wasn't even planning to come back anyway. But I really don't need to blot anywhere else except for like literally right here in the crevices and right there. Clinique, which I had no doubts because I love Clinique, y'all. So I love you guys so much. Have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.